Hey everyone, my name is Shea with 10 Tents and thank you for taking a moment out of your time to watch this video about our newest product that we're dubbing the CSK for the coolant simplification kit. When we were really getting to know the platform really well, we saw right away, you know, how can we make this thing more reliable? How can we make, make it more efficient? And simplifying the cooling system was like the first thing that came to our minds. In fact, the idea the prototype and the production of all of this kit is done right here in this building and nowhere else. Now, I know these are only two small little pieces, but these are the cool fancy bits in the kit. If you wanna see the entire kit and all the pictures, look at the pictures on the page. But these ones are the ones that we literally design and make in our own in-house CNC machine. They allow us to go from this hose, whatever you wanna call this thing, uh, it's where your heater hose is and your oil cooler slash warmer hose and your thermostat assist open hose, whatever you want to call that. All of these things branch off of this, which is like already you can see one, two, three, four, five, six, six different points of possible leaking. What we really wanted to set out to do was eliminate all of these things that were not essential to motorsports. Things like your, your heater core. Um, in some cases, this particular kit, these two pieces are for our non thermostatic kit which actually does remove the thermostat from the thermostat housing. Therefore, you have a hose going directly from your crossover tube right into your radiator, from the radiator right into the engine with no blockage whatsoever. The only unfortunate thing about the non-thermostatic kit is that you have no control over how quickly the engine heats up or cools down. The only thing you have that regulates temperatures is your fans. You have no control over if the temperature takes five minutes or 20 minutes to get from ambient to operating temp. So you guys that are living in cold environments may not want this kit, which is why we make the thermostatic version of that. Which is here. Notice how it's a little bit different. What's cool about this kit is it allows you to maintain the factory functionality of the thermostat. However, it also gives you a couple of things. It simplifies the kit significantly, but it also gives you an easy fitting if you wanted to, let's say you turbo guys, wanted to have access to water cooling, for your turbocharger. These two fittings here, which are just half inch hose barbs, they're actually threaded with 3 8 MPT. So if you wanted to get to a fancy, you know, AN fitting or anything like that, you can really pick to your heart's content to whatever fitting that you want. If you want to go with something really stylish or if you want to just go with a regular hose barb like the kit includes, you can do that. You have that flexibility. We've actually put a couple of events on our own cars here with these same kits. Scotty's the Black Z, mine the white one. Scotty's does not have a thermostat. Mine does, uh, Scotty's does not have AC, and mine does, and both cars seem to operate as if they were before. Now, I'm not trying to sell this kit and saying that it's going to drastically increase your cooling performance because the cooling system is more complicated than that. But if you're looking to reduce the amount of potential hazards you could occur at a track day event due to unnecessary hoses, then this kit is for you. So keep this in mind, this kit is really, I think gonna pay off for our motor swap guys that are choosing to put a VQ into another platform or if you're dedicating your 350Z to nonstop track, you know, track work. So because of that, right off the bat, your, uh, your heater core hoses, those are gone, right? Those heater core hoses are fed via this pipe on your driver's side of the engine bay. And of course, this pipe on your passenger side of the engine bay. With these two gone, you obviously can't have heat. Another component that gets removed is your oil cooler slash warmer. Now, if you're, if you're gonna be doing motorsports, you need to be looking at an alternative cooler because this is unfortunately just not, it's better than nothing, but really it's, it's not adequate when it comes to motorsports environments. So we do remove this because we feel it's definitely not up to par when it comes to your 350Z performing in a motorsports environment. So if you still have this and you wanna get our kit, also check out our oil cooler that we have along with it. It's a great upgrade. Uh, highly recommend it for even autocross, um, like track day or especially drifting where you're at, you know, high RPM continuously. So this guy gets rid of two hoses, uh, one that's fed from your, I don't even know what to call this, your, I think it's called the crossover pipe or something like that. From here, goes across the front of your engine from this hose, which gets removed. And then from there, I believe it's this hose that grabs onto that one and goes in the front of your thermostat. Now, with our two kits, the thermostatic one, you're not getting rid of the thermostat housing. You will get a thermostat housing that's already been modified to have the thermostat removed from it. 
And for the guys that are paying attention, our thermostatic CSK kit also comes with a thermostat housing that no longer has this nipple, but still maintains the thermostat and all of its functionality. That's where those additional barb fittings come in for helping regulate the thermostat opening and closing. Without that, you're gonna have erratic cooling temperatures. And last but not least, this guy, as well as another hose that you're gonna reuse, is for your throttle body. Now, if you're still running coolant to your throttle body, that's great, but when it comes to track-related stuff, it's not really needed. It's fed via this hose here, which I believe is like, maybe not that one. It's one of these hoses that goes from here to your throttle body and from the throttle body to your crossover, your crossover pipe on the backside, which I think this is actually from the throttle body to the crossover. So all of that stuff, which if you wanna see more or in the pictures on the page, is removed and the entire cooling system is super, super simple. It literally can't get any simpler because we tried. So if you have any questions, review the videos on the install, check out the pictures. If all else fails, give us a call or messages on our social media. We'd love to talk with you about it. Thanks a lot.